Welcome back to Fast Tracks Cars. I'm Kevin and I've got Harold here with a beautiful 1967 Mustang. Harold, welcome to my show. Oh, it's glad to have, be on here. Thank you. Um, tell me a bit about your car. It's a uh, 1967 Mustang mm -hmm. and uh, I've owned it for 25 years yeah. and I've had it uh, on the road after restoring it for yeah. 10 years now. 10 years, yeah. 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 So it's a long-term restoration for you it's uh, 10 years to restore it uh well that'd be 15 years where i took it apart okay basically yeah. and yeah. Then of those 15 three were putting it back together right. right right so what did you do to the car um obviously when you first bought it it was in what kind of condition was it in it was in very poor condition very poor yeah, yeah. probably questionable whether it should have been restored or not really that bad right yeah what was wrong with it uh, it had rust uh, problems, uh, mm -hmm. floorboards and inner rocker right. frame and uh, trunk drop-offs. The quarters were shot. So, oh, okay. But I got a lot of parts from uh, cars that I had uh, purchased and I yeah. salvaged a lot of parts. And from that, I put it pretty much back together without having to buy a lot of brand new parts. So donor cars? Yeah, yeah, yeah donor, absolutely. Yeah. I remember doing that with a 73 Sleek my brother and I had. Yeah. We bought one car to build and another car for parts. So um, unfortunately, with those kind of cars, if you don't have the donor, sometimes you can't find the parts. That's that's yeah. correct. Original yeah. parts. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. What was it like to find parts for this? Obviously, it was rust. There was, there was some body rust as well. What was it like to find panels for that? Uh, I purchased two used Mustangs that mm -hmm. uh, were not in running order and right. a Cougar. Okay. And from all that, the wires and wiring and all of the... Uh, uh, Features that uh, you don't normally uh, uh, find well preserved on an old mm -hmm. car like mine. Yeah, uh, they were in pretty good shape. So good. I managed to salvage that. So it helped you a bit. Yeah. And any parts that weren't on there, you had to source out externally. How? What was that like? Uh, the United States. Yeah. Yeah. They carry yeah. lots of Mustang parts. Right. They still do actually. Yeah. You told me once before that there was an issue trying to get one of the fenders or some of the fenders. What was like? What would happen there? Uh, you said. Uh, before that there was an issue finding fenders. Oh, quarters? Yeah, yeah. quarter panels, yeah. Yeah, quarters. Uh, yeah, that was unique. In the bargain finder, there were two quarter panels yeah. that the guy was selling. Originally, he said, okay. no more coal. So I uh, called him and he said, yeah, come over, take a look at them. He says, I've got them up in my garage. Top yeah. of my garage. He brought them down and I took a look at them and inside was still the paperwork yeah. that they were original and under plastic. Uh, taped on the inside. They were labeled. The they were labeled. Yeah. Wow. I was quite fortunate there. Absolutely. So, so they're perfectly true. <laughs> it's a blessing in disguise, wasn't it? Yes. Finding that, you bet. And what did you do with the interior? Now, there's well, a lot of work done. It's beautiful, a red interior. Okay. Um, I purchased the uh, skins uh, from the United States supplier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, the. Uh, foam that's underneath the skins and mm -hmm. I put that all together stretched it and for about a week after my fingers were still sore <laughs> so you did so you, you actually stretched the seats yourself oh yeah yeah wow yeah yeah hog rings and and uh, uh all the installation I I did myself that's a lot of work yeah it is a lot yeah. of work yeah. and the back panels of of the the seats and the doors they were painted correct yes this is this is metal yeah it, it looks like it's uh a fabric and and this is uh, plastic right yeah and they've been painted the exterior is a uh, ford sangria red it's a 1990s or mm -hmm. 2000 era red yeah uh, then to go from the uh, exterior to the interior vinyl mm -hmm. i had to find a color that would match or transition right so the transition is basically a Volkswagen <laughs> red. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. And it's painted. Yes. Beautiful yeah. work. Beautiful yeah. job. Yeah. Good choice. Yeah. Good choice. Um, and in the seats, you've got the little diamond or uh, yeah chrome uh, here. Yeah, it's a deluxe interior that I've uh, put in uh, original interior mm -hmm. car. Okay. Yes, that was there originally on this on this year of model car. Oh yes, this yeah. is this is uh, era correct. It's okay. Nineteen all nineteen sixty seven. Okay. What, what you see in here is is uh, extras that Ford made for the 67. Right. Excellent. Well, that's great. That's fantastic. So it's correct. 
and everything functions in the car, obviously. Yes. Everything is working well. Oh, yes. Uh, fun to drive. Yes, yeah. I can tell, yes. yeah. It's yes. obviously, a, I mean, it's a convertible Mustang. I mean, yeah. Warm, come on. It's, it's a warm weather car, never yeah. sees rain. I bet, I bet. Does the top come up at all, or is it oh, always yeah. top down? No, the top comes up. If, yeah. if you want, we can put it up. But it's a, it's a white top. Yep. Yeah, it's a vinyl top. It's yeah. It's uh, brand new. So it's uh, electric uh, hydraulic. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Excellent. And obviously everything else is correct. It looks like you've got the, the correct radio in there as well. Yes. Yeah, which is nice. Yes. Well, the old radio was only the one channel or... AM. AM. Yep. Right. Okay. So I have FM in there by putting a uh, FM radio in the golf compartment. Oh. And it runs uh, AM, FM from the golf compartment to... 1400 on the original uh, AM radio. Fantastic. Very smart. You don't even know to look at it. It looks like no, a stock no, radio. No, you just, uh, I can tune it from uh, uh, in the golf compartment, mm -hmm. but it has to stay on 1400 right. on the original. Fantastic. And it's an automatic transmission. Yes, it is. Yep. Three speed. Three speed. You know what the horsepower is in the car? Well, 200. 200, which is not bad. It's not a heavy car. No. Not a heavy car at all. Uh, have you done anything to the exhaust or suspension or anything like that? Yes, I put in a dual exhaust, which yeah. I, again is period correct, mm -hmm. and, and Ford uh, made those uh, exhaust systems. Uh, so, and then it's got uh, quads out the back, which right. was very rare in those days. Ah, uh, yes. They were just coming into vogue. So. Yeah. 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 And the suspension is it pretty well stock, or is it? Pretty much stock. It's, yeah. I've got a little, a few GT parts which beef up the uh, uh, torsion bar right. and stuff like that. But, right. Yeah, you know, they're a little bit uh, heavier than the original and the old original Mustang. Yeah, and nice to have, especially yeah. if you're driving it on a regular basis. Nice yeah. to have that. Yeah. And the brakes are they upgraded? Uh, yeah, the brakes. Uh, the front is a uh, uh, disc brake. Yeah. Setup. Uh, it's a Ford disc brake setup too. Right. It's original. Okay. Uh, but not on this car. Right. It was on one of the donor cars. Right. And uh, it's got the drum brakes on the back. So discs in the front, drums in the back. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Um, I know we were talking before, and you had mentioned that you did something with the steering. What did you do? Oh, uh, <laughs> it's got a uh, power, the integral power steering. It goes from the pump to the steering box or mm -hmm. the steering sector, and then it returns back to the pump directly. Yeah. So I run a uh, standard steering setup, right? But the sector is powered, so it uh, it uh, allows me to uh, drive it uh, very easily. Yep. Uh, and turn very easily. So it's drawing power from the pump. From the pump. Yep. Yeah. Very smart. Very very smart. Makes it easier to drive. Yeah, it saves on all the gaskets and seals and whatever yeah. that Ford was known. The leak. leak. Exactly. Leaking was a problem for yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, and obviously the, your, your family's involved in this as well and they like to drive it as well? Um, a little or, bit. Or do they get to drive they, it? They get, <laughs> oh, they, they can drive it if they want when yeah. they come. Yeah. 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 Uh, but uh, they're a little hesitant. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah. I can imagine why. Yeah. My daughter says, that's my car. When yep. you don't want it anymore, Dad, that's my car. So she's, yeah. she's, she's claimed it. She's got it. She's yeah. claimed it. That's fantastic. Um, so what else have you had? I mean, did, did you always want this car? Was this car you always wanted or is it? The first one that I saw in 1965, I thought that's a car I would really like to have. Yeah. But I, I had a very nice Ford XL at that right. time. Right, yeah. So, uh, also a very nice car. Oh, yes. So I saw choose, I, I chose and uh, purchased this when I had a chance. Absolutely. So. What other cars have you owned in the past besides this? Oh, uh, I've had a uh, Carmen Ghia, Volkswagen, mm -hmm. uh, a uh, Chevy uh, Chef Convertible, 61 Chef Convertible, 64 mm -hmm. uh, Galaxy XL. Yeah. Uh, yeah I had a, uh, a Supra Targaru. Wow. Yeah. That's a pretty unique car. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But your your Chevy was a convertible Impala, or was it? It's a, it was an Impala. Impala. Sixty one Impala. Right. With uh, uh, it was a tough car to drive in the winter time because they had uh, uh, coil spring suspension. 
Right. And it was like a buggy. So if yep, you, for sure. if you got an ice or whatever, you got a, a priest way other yep. than what your tires are doing. And then of course they could break your tires. So your opposite lock constantly yeah. trying to keep yourself yeah. in that perfect yeah. slide. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't have a very good torsion system. No. In those days. I know my dad had a, uh, a 1964 Chevy Impala, red with a white top, red interior. Uh, it was beautiful. Um, and uh, he uh, unfortunately sold it, but, uh, a car I want to get back. If anybody's watching this who knows where that car is in Kelowna, it's a 1964 <laughs> red Chevy Impella convertible. I'm buying it. Somehow, one day I'm finding you and I'm going to buy that car. <laughs> no, it's it's great to have that in the family. My dad's always been a car guy and uh, because of that, you know, I'm, I'm a car nut as well. My kids are also car nuts. So... Um, well, you have a beautiful one right there. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, that, I don't drive it very much. Beautiful car. You should take a picture of that before we leave I today. will get a picture of that as well, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, that's fantastic. Anything else to the engine that was done, or is it uh, fairly stock? No, it's very stock. Yeah. And, yeah, the heads were done, but that's basically it. Yeah. It, it doesn't burn oil, and it no. uh, runs very well. Yeah. I can just go over there without getting inside the car, turn the key, and it'll start. Every and that's time. what you need, good reliability, yeah. right? You need yeah. good reliability. Yeah. 1967 Mustang convertible, a very, very good car, very, <laughs> very beautiful car. Harold, thank you so much for sharing it with us and uh, allowing me to do the video. Oh, well, thank you for doing it. I appreciate uh, your I time. Look forward to seeing it.